Hello, time for you. It's Rose Gwyther. It's time for Thirsty Thursday. Today I don't have anything really, um, a new product to talk about today. But what I'm going to talk about is three of my favorite things. And I thought maybe it's something to, re to remind you of some of the things I have talked about. But these are the three of my most favorite things that I find that if I go into my cabinet, it's like I have to have these things. This is, these are like staples to me, even though they're luxurious. Each one of these are very, very moisturizing. And I thought that was interesting that I picked that, these three things, because they are all moisturizing, but they just happen to be moisturizing. But my most favorite thing is the CBD Beauty Boost. It's a 600, 600 milligrams of CBD. You know, there's no THC in it, so that's no problem. But this is just so moisturizing. I use this every night after I cleanse my face. Very important to do these steps. Cleanse your face, toner, and then I add this. It says to add one quarter to one full dropper, okay? see how big that is now I use about oh maybe a third of a dropper on a regular basis and I find that's plenty you don't need to have a whole dropper and this will last you a very very long time but it gives you great results in your skin your skin really changes at least mine did and the other thing is my dermatologist likes whatever I'm doing and says continue to do whichever you're doing and which I find very important because they would rather for you to use other products that have toxic chemicals in them and I didn't want to do that so after about two months of using this I had to go back to the dermatologist and he was pleasantly surprised and pleased so this is something that's very very helpful and very moisturizing and very healing to your skin. After I do the CBD to BD boost, I use the Gua Sha Stone or the Stone Roller. Okay, and which one? I don't, it doesn't matter, but it's something that you do and it kind of blends into the face. You can look at Young Living and see some tutorials on these products, and I've talked about them before too. But it's something that I do after. I do the CBD Beauty Boost, either one or the other, or if you want to do both, you can do both. The second thing that I like the most is the Bloom Brightening Cream. This came out not too long ago, but it replaced, it's basically a reformulation of what we knew as Cher Lume. This is what's available now, it's called the Bloom brightening cream and on the top of it it does say combined with Cher Lame ingredients so this is very moisturizing brightening to your skin and I usually put this on after I do the CBD Beauty Boost I don't use this all the time to me it's very very moisturizing I listen to my skin if I decide I don't need the moisturizer I'll just use either the uh, light moisturizer or the balloon moisturizer. The third thing that's one of my favorites is the Young Living Rose Ointment. Now this is very similar to the Animal Sense Ointment and you can use both of them. I just like this one because it's in a small container and I can use it easily because uh, an Animal Sense one is a pretty large container but also very very nice to have. And this, of course, has rose oil in it. So I really like this. But I use this every morning after my shower on my elbows. What a difference my elbows are. No longer are they hard or cracked or anything. They're very moisturized now. They're very soft. Uh, no cracks. So it's so, so helpful. And just a little bit goes a long way. This will last me a very, very long time. It's amazing how much usage you get out of these products. So that's what I have for you today. So let me know what some of your favorite products are.
especially for the face and your skin. Have a great day. Bye.